your boy got a package on the front porch. I don't know if you can tell, but your boy got him some good Yokohama tires. And I just so happen to go with a little bit less wide. I have 285s on the car, but I'm going back with 275s. The only thing is the profile is a 30 on the car right now, and these are 35s. So this should be a little bit more beefier than the setup that's on the car i did have to get new tires because the tires that are on here i've used for burnouts and whatnot and the tread on them is not actually in the best shape right now the outside is kind of but you know you run a little bit of camber you tend to run a little bit of camber anyways and the inside of them just isn't all there anymore if you're new to the vlogs my name is pj morris and i make automotive content but uh enough about that enough about that my car my genesis is basically a full bolt on almost genesis coupe 2014 3.8 manual if you haven't seen my last video i went to the track and i was having problems with my shifter i have the unique performance shifter inside of the car and i just need to get this thing fixed there's a little play in it i don't know if y'all can see this but I need to see about going get some washers to place inside of the linkage at the very bottom where the shifter meets the little, I guess, linkage part for the shifting on the transmission. But I'm about to head to the store to do that and I'm not actually gonna be driving this car. I'm gonna be taking Dexter. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. It's been so long since I drove this car. But he still fires up nicely. I do not have AC because my compressor did end up going bad on me and stuff. But I have a new compressor inside. It's just waiting on a turbo kit to be put in this car. By the way, like I said, if you're new to the channel, you don't know about the turbo kit. But I am planning on turbo in this car, possibly this upcoming week. So if you aren't subscribed, then why aren't you? I ended up not being able to change out or fix the shifter earlier because what I thought was the problem was not actually the problem and you can see it still shakes a little bit. I'm thinking that it's the shifter bushing or the little, I don't know what to call it, but I should have a picture on the screen right here of what I'm talking about. but. I think that's what I need to change and I've been looking on the internet to try to order one. I went to AutoZone and O'Reilly's. They don't have them in stock. On the internet, they don't have them in stock. So if somebody knows where I can get that from, let me know please in the comment section. So I can fix this sloppy shifter that I have. But it's not going to be all bad today because I couldn't do the video I wanted to. So I'm just going to go to something else. But I have this gold tape that I'm about to try to wrap my intake in in the meantime before I get an actual true cold air intake and this will help keep IATs down. Whenever I'm at the track or I've been running my car all day and get under here this tends to be very hot to the touch and all I'm gonna do is wrap this in the gold heat reflective tape and that should help it a little bit to keep the IATs down but I do have a short ram intake like I said so it's pulling air from right here the cold air intake actually goes all the way down through the bumper and takes air through like I think I have to cut this open or something like that but I'm gonna eventually get that but in the meantime this is a quick fix
fight chick. You got it? Oh, cool. 